Kwanjung Fazi, Kwanjung Bokot, and strike a woman, you strike a rock. Welcome back to another episode from Millennial X. My name is Faith McQuell, and today we are at Pretoria, the place where in 1956, on the 9th of August, more than 20,000 women of different races and age marched to the union buildings to protest against the pass law. What is the pass law, you may ask? This is the law that made sure that blacks of Africans were restricted for movement. And in this day, we used to celebrate and remember the brave women that took the risk and went to stand for their rights and march in union building. Today's a day where we are following different South Africans, different young people in Pretoria, asking them questions like, what do they feel like? What do they feel about union, about Women's Day, about the 9th of August? Who's a phenomenal woman to them? and who inspires them. Particularly for me, a phenomenal woman is a woman that is brave and a woman that never looks at the situation that everyone talks about or everyone looks at. She is determined, she's brave, and she's confident. We want to hear from you. Make sure you like our page, make sure you subscribe and check our video on YouTube. We could be asking you the next question. So what a woman's month means to us? Yeah. I'd say for me it's just to like commemorate the women who marched and just to remember everything that they've been through and where we are today as a result of them. Yeah, and maybe bring, a, bring about awareness of how women play a role in our lives in every day. Yeah. And, um, to, and to empower like more than more than the women already empower each other just to like even empower them even more yeah. <laughs> just to like see more change and yeah what does women month means to me uh, it means um, limitless it means freedom it means um, inspiration because many women a few many years ago um, they stood up for women of all groups in South Africa to make sure that we are able to achieve whatever we want without anyone telling us what we can and cannot do. Women's Month is like something to remind me how powerful I am and how proud I should be to, who, who I, to be who I am. Women's Month basically is a month where I believe it's a time set for us as a nation to remember um, the work and appreciate what women are. And I believe that it is very essential that we do have a month specifically dedicated to women's hardship, to women's um, achievement in their work in the country and globally in general. Because um, in the way that our system is set up, our history, especially in South Africa, and um, the role that women had played in the struggle and in our everyday lives, it is very impactful. So it, I feel it is very imperative that we appreciate women. In Women's Month, um, a lot can be said about Women's Month. Many people are against it because sometimes they feel that it is just a 30-day thing of appreciating women, of um, stopping domestic violence, but that's not the case. Um, Women's Month should be celebrated every single day for 300, 365 days. However, for that 30 months specifically, we must appreciate the work of women. We must um, identify the struggles of women as a nation and um, to be women and to, um, to identify with the freedom of women. So Women's Day to me means basically women just being strong together and I think women are a very essential part of the community as a whole and sometimes we find that we have doubt in ourselves and doubt in our strength but I feel like during Women's Month we all kind of gather together and are strong together and remind ourselves why we are so important and why we should just value ourselves even more. I believe a phenomenal woman is a free woman, as a woman who is able to express herself in the way that she prefers to express herself. So we can move from your most radical, most um, loud woman to your most um, subordinate and submissive woman. As long as women are free to be who they want to be, they are free to express their own voices and to just express their dreams and to live according to their own um, constitution that liberates them. Basically means freedom and freedom to do whatever your heart desires, whatever you want to do without fear of what the world is going to say. And I think 
feminism kind of empowers women to just go for what they want without fear of being judged by people around them and I think that is very essential in our world and I'm proud to say that I believe that anyone should just go for what their hearts long to do. Yeah. Okay, my mom is a phenomenal woman to me because she's really proud and she's very brave and she's independent and she doesn't let anyone tell her what or who she should be. So I look up to her and I love her so much. And the woman that inspires me most is my mother. Um, she was able to raise four kids and other people's children on her own and she's still pushing. So every day I look up to her, she's my number one lady. Who I believe is a, femina, a phenomenal woman, I would have to say, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart, is definitely Winnie Matikizela Mandela. And I believe that woman had done so much for this country and most of young um, leaders, most of young um, politicians or females who are in politi uh, political spaces or in educational spaces, they look up to what uh, Winnie Matikizela has done for this country. And it's not only because she, is, she was married to a Mandela, it's not only because she was a political activist, it's because she stood for what she believes in. And all that she did, she remained admin on ensuring that we identify women in all spaces. She ensured that even in spaces where women were not welcome, she invaded. So I believe that is the type of women we want to be, that is the type of women we have to celebrate and that is a phenomenal. I'd say the woman that inspires me, it might seem very, very cliche, but I'd have to say that it is my mom because <laughs> Because it's like she inspires me to be whatever I want to be, not because, like, she tells me that I can be anything, regardless of any stereotypes or anything like that. And I just feel like she empowers me as a woman because she makes me feel like I can do anything. Yeah, I'd say that's why she, as a woman, inspires me. I'd also say my mom is my inspiration because she also, she's constantly working. She provides for my family. Um, She's just a positive person all around and yeah, she just makes me feel better as a person. I'm glad to be her daughter, but I'd also, <laughs> but I'd also say um, my friends are big inspirations to me. Uh, we all have very different personalities. I mean, this is my best friend <laughs> and we both want to empower each other, make each other work to be the best that we can be and reach our best potential. And I'd also say the women that I look up to are pretty much like all the girls in, in our school, which is Girls High, because we just have such a sisterhood. And I think that's just, that's just what Women's Month is all about. It's just this like continuous sisterhood that we all just there for each other. Just build so, each other up. Yeah, not pretty much. Each other. Yeah. yeah, and I think Women's Month, it's not just the month, it's like the sisterhood is continuous, it's been here since the beginning of course, High, it's always going to be there. Yeah. I feel like, and I feel like Women's Month just like brings a lot of awareness, yeah. like I, I think I said that earlier, but <laughs> it just emphasizes the yeah. fact that we, you know, women should support each other yeah. and, you know, just hope for the best for each other. Yeah. And a woman who inspires me is my mother because she is such a strong woman she's a strong prayer she's a prayer warrior and she's always determined and she never loses focus and she keeps going for what she wants without giving up and I think those are values that I want to instill in my own life you know so I can grow and become like her I really just want to be like her because she's so awesome I mean but such phenomenal woman <laughs> I am a phenomenal woman. 